EA Sports. It's in the game. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for our main event of the evening. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Vicious Victor T. Touch block. Opening three minutes of this ten round fight. Hey, this is a classic matchup. Boxer versus brawler. It is played out going back over a hundred years in the sport. Many would say probably the most classical matchup in the sport. I love to look at a matchup like this, and historically the fans enjoy it because the strengths are also the weaknesses of both fighters. You know, the boxer wants to stay on the outside and be able to catch somebody coming in. But when the brawler gets close, now all of a sudden, he makes that boxer very uncomfortable. Ortiz's combination punching is working well here. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. So he digs in with a left hand to the body and then places the right. Unable to connect by Jake Lamada. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Stairs and was off the mark. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Lamada's opponent has to be looped in on this. I mean, everybody knows that he's standing opposite a bleeder, a guy who cuts. Yeah, I'm sure that he does know that, but you know, that can work against you. Because you start putting in your head that I'm going out there, I'm gonna cut my opponent, then you're saying I'm gonna have an easy night. Then you're not ready for a tough night. You always have to be ready in whatever you do for a tough night. A clean, crisp right hand by Jake Lovato. Carries that punch away. Lamada's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Lost right hand to the body. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Jake Lamada's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive wizard. You know, he's not Claude Wayne. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. <laughs> 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 
Unable to score with the hook. There's a straight right hand. Ortiz is at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ortiz is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Lamada's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing that. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. And round number three is underway. Good return fire that time. Both men digging in with uppercuts. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. He comes back with the left hand again. Protecting his head well with his guard. Ortiz is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Jake Lamada sunk by a left hand. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Ortiz has landed a good, solid combination. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Ortiz is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping... He's guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. He saw the uppercut. He took advantage, throwing it out there. And this round comes to an end. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Ortiz is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Oh, and there you go. He goes down, and there is still plenty of time remaining in this round. Lamada's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, oh, no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Lamada 
is hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Ortiz is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And we come to the end of the round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Lamada's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close, he can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock to buy. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Lamada's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Big, big shot he just scored with. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? <sighs> And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. Try to go downstairs, but off target. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> There's just no quit in this guy. He's been damaged, but still he's trying to make a fight of it. Look, I love that about him. The fans love that about him. It's great. But he's got to learn when it's time to turn it off, when it's time to clinch a little bit, survive a little. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Jake Lamada is holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bag, putting punches together, but you work on this, on moments when you're in trouble and when you have to survive. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that poured him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. It's sinkable. Boy, it went down quick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. Lamada smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. He was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Ortiz is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title. You want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.